Hello, and welcome to the installation video for the Wireworks part number WE-005012. Let's have a closer look at what products are included in this deployment so we can start you off in the right direction. Now, the overall packaging includes two separate boxes. One box contains our Fiber Next Step 1U patch panel loaded with four flex modules. The second box also contains the same fiber patch panel, but it's loaded with four 3S modules instead. Please note that in addition to this video, each product will be shipped with their own unique installation guide, as shown here. Great, now let's go ahead and start. For the sake of this example, let's start with the loaded flex patch panel. Start by removing the front and rear covers of the patch panel. You can do this by simply grabbing and pinching both sides of the cover and pushing it towards you so that the fastening magnets disengage. Great, now you're ready to mount your patch panel using the mounting screws included in the hardware kit. Start by partially screwing in the two bottom screws, but be careful not to fasten the screws all the way just yet. Now, slide the panel downwards so that the panel's bottom mounting holes properly sit on the bottom screws. Next, fasten and tighten the two remaining top screws, then proceed to tighten the bottom ones as well. Great, let's have a closer look at the flex module together. To disengage the module from the patch panel, simply pinch both tabs inward and pull the module outward to release the module from the front end. You may lock your module back in place by simply reinserting it till you hear an audible click. To remove or recess the module in the back position, simply follow the same steps, this time pushing the module inward to release the module towards the rear of the patch panel. Now it's worth mentioning that this solution comes prepackaged and kitted with a spool that is already in the D-reel position. Now, a good way of knowing if your spool is in the D-reel position is that it has two finger hole indents facing out, as shown here. To disengage the spool, Simply pull your fiber assembly to your desired length. Now you can reel it back by simply applying some pressure using your finger and rotating the spool counterclockwise. It's simple as that. Now that you have deployed your fiber assembly to its desired length, it's time for you to lock your spool position in place. Do this by simply flipping the flex module back on its upright position and pressing down on the indented holes to unlock the spool so it can be removed. Great, now flip the spool over, exposing the MPO connector inside. Now keep your fiber assembly in mind, because now you have to push your fiber assembly through the rear open split and reinsert the spool, as shown here. Great, now your fiber assembly strain relief is now locked in position, as shown here. Finally, to execute the application, simply remove the MPO connector from the flex spool and patch it into the distribution module, as shown here. Now, go ahead and route your four fiber assemblies using the suggested method shown in this example. Secure and anchor your assemblies to the integrated strain relief bracket. Now, please ensure that the rubber strain relief is in the flat position as shown here. Now please ensure that there's approximately 22 inches of slack before attaching the strain relief. Now, to place the front and back covers on, simply align the sides and push forward allowing the magnets to hold the covers in place, as shown here. That's it, you're done. Let's now move on to the 3S application. Follow the same procedures mentioned earlier regarding mounting the patch panel. Now once your patch panel is mounted, we highly recommend starting by disengaging the 3S module towards the back so you can easily access the rear IPO connection for patching purposes. You can do this by simply squeezing and holding both tabs inward while applying some pressure as shown here. You're now in the position to patch your flex MPO assembly into the rear of your 3S module. Once you have completed your patching, simply slide forward your 3S module until you hear an audible click, which is an indication that your module is now locked in place. 
Now apply the same routing and strain relief methods that we discussed earlier with the Flex module. Please note that the 3S module comes with its unique identification tray located at the top of the module. The tray can easily be accessed by simply applying some pressure and sliding the tray forward or backwards, as shown here. Now, in order to add extra protection to your front patching of your modules, you can recess your module inward, as shown here. Now, should there be any moves, adds, or changes in the future, simply pull the module forward till you hear that locking sound. Finally, go ahead and place both front and back covers on. That's it. You're done. Thanks for watching.